Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another one of our videos. In this video, we're going to show you a shortcut and a little trick on how to demat an extremely matted Shih Tzu simply using a Andis clipper and a 10 blade. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. As we mentioned, we have an extremely matted dog on the table, so I'm just pointing out where all of the matting is. Identifying where the mats are is going to make this job easier. These mats go all the way up to the back of the dog. Using a 10 blade, I'm simply just coming up underneath the mat and starting to splice through it. By loosening up the mat, I can pull it out. By coming up underneath the mat and leaving the top hair, it's going to allow me to camouflage the dog and make it look like the dog still has long coat, which is going to be the goal of this entire grooming. Using this remedy is a lot easier on the dog. We don't have to yank on him with a slicker brush or a comb or use a mat splitter. We are simply just cutting and splicing through the mat using our clipper. Again, the goal is to leave as much top coat over so that we can cover up that shaved out area. This dog is extremely matted, so we're doing our best to make it comfortable for him. Again, those mats are going all the way up into the neck area and the top part of the dog. Now I'm turning my clipper sideways and splicing downward. Again, just cutting through the mats. Now we can brush through the mat and we'll come out very easily. And there's that cover up here. We went ahead and clipped out under his eyes using the 10 blade. We're shaving out some mats behind the ears now. You really want to use your hands and know exactly what you're cutting at all times with this. There's that big mat from behind the ear. Very tough mat. What a good boy. So everything we just showed you, we're just going to repeat that process throughout the entire dog.
After repeating this technique throughout the whole dog, he was virtually mat free and you can see all of the undercoat and matting that I displayed on the grooming table. I went ahead and shaved out most of his underside that you wouldn't be able to see anyway. So after his prep, we went ahead and gave him a good bath, a cream rinse, and a good blowout. Clipped out any excess knots that we found. We did a little bit more clipper work, a little scissoring, and we just completed this job. What we truly achieved here was a way to demat an extremely matted dog and avoid a shave down by simply clipping out underneath the mats and leaving enough cover up hair. Of course, he doesn't look perfect, but considering the condition he was in, he really does look amazing. With a little bit of practice and using this technique, you guys can do the same exact thing. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you in the next video.